What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tay, and I'm back with another video. So basically, Mama Kita pranked Armand and said she's moving to LA in the same place as him, okay? Not just to LA, but moving to the same place as him. So, you know, Armand's like, yo, what's going on? Like, hold up, you know, let's talk about this. She basically gets off the elevator. That's the first thing she said, like, me and Lucky done broke up, you know, so me and Love coming to stay with you. That's what she says, and he's like, whoa, what's going on, Ma? Like, what? And it's crazy, because, like, I mean, she, you know, she pulling her suitcase in the room, you know. This man grabs the luggage and rolls it back to the elevator, talking about, yeah, let's talk in the elevator as we going down. Let's talk in the elevator. I'm like, yo, Armand, you're, bro, you're crazy, because, like, it's crazy because, you know, at one point he's like, yeah, like, my, you know, my mama gonna come move to L.A. with me. But he was like, not in the same, you know, not in the same place. But the one place he did say, mom, come on, you can come move to uh, West Hollywood. You can go to West Hollywood, you know. It's a studio. It's one bedroom. You can, you and love can go over there. That was him. He said he paid for it. Like, bro, it was just like, not in my same space. No. I mean, I understand that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got your own space. You're trying to make it yours. You know, do what you got to do. I ain't mad at him. Boom. But the funniest line came sort of near the end. When he was like, y'all, somebody get me a comb. I think her braid's too tight. I mean, bro was really, like, going through it, like, really, like, Ma, are you sure? Like, you know, what's going on? Like, you want to move in with me in my place, you know? And this boy, like, I just want to live my single air, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was really just trying to be the one that's walking around the house naked. Now I'm just playing, but that was about, like, he was just trying to chill. And his mama, like, I'm moving in with you. So this boy, like, you know what? All right, here's what, you know, I'm about to set some standards. You can't go in the refrigerator. I'm putting a lock on the refrigerator. You, you got to be in the house by 12. I'm like, ooh, like, this game entertaining. Like, what's going on for real? Because he was real with it. And Mama just like, why? And then uh, Sharad called Trey, and Trey's like, you know what? I just want peace. Like, bro won't even with it, you know? And it's crazy, too, because he's like, um, she's like, Mama Keto's basically like, you know, the big kids can watch Aaron and Ariana. I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> not that y'all can watch the kids. We moving up here kind of energy. So that was like the prank. You know what I'm saying? That was the prank. She even got Lexi involved. And Lexi was all for it. You, 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 and me. Like, yay. And she was so excited. Like, I was like, dang. Like, y'all really playing with her. But you know what I think it is? It's Mama Kita again. Um, Mama Kita is getting her payback from all the pranks they used to do on her. Because they definitely used to prank her, y'all. If y'all grew up watching our monitor, y'all know she was the victim of some of their pranks. So, yeah, I feel like this is just her payback, like, period. Because she done been getting all the kids lately. Like, nobody is off limits. And then, okay, it was the one daddy, like, real daddy mode in the video where, like, mind you, he's, he's been a dad the whole video. But this one was, like, he heard Legacy crying down the hall. You know, the, him, um... He heard Lexi crying, because Lexi and Love were just playing with the balloon, right? And he heard her do, like, a little cry, bro, was about to sprint. Bro was about to take off down that hall. And I know the feeling, because as soon as you hear a child cry, like, your heart just start beating fast, especially your child. Like, it's like, whoa, what's going on? So that was his reaction. Like, my bro was about to take off down the hall. Like, I don't even know. Y'all was about to not see him. He was really about to do a poof disappear. I thought it was, like, cute, because it's like, yeah, you know that feeling. Like, you just knew that moment. You just know that feeling, because you done probably experienced it once or twice, especially if you're a parent. Before I get actually, like, more into the prank, can we talk about this place, though? Can we talk about his place? He, I, I don't know if that's his dad's place or not, because I know he said one place he's staying in temporarily. But, like, the kitchen is long, y'all. That kitchen is long as crap. I'm like, you got all that counter space, and then you still have your dining room, a nice living room. I'm like, I'm obsessed. And then to make things, like, ten times better, like, the elevator. As soon as you can get off the elevator into your home, like, that's lit i'm sitting here like wait this is a whole vibe like stop playing with him but that kitchen was just like some real nice stuff and yeah like <laughs> oh and then um mama kita called trey too but like he said he didn't want to talk about it he was just like yo i'm trying to race and y'all calling me you know what i'm saying like i don't got time for this but that was the vibe y'all like mama kita really did get our mom with this because his facial expressions was just like what what are you talking about like are you like are you serious right now ma like, he was really, like, he was like, yo, say so if I'm going to bring people over. She's like, I mean, I got a hotel. Like, I can go to a hotel. It was funny. Cause <laughs> our mom, when I tell y'all, this man was, like, literally confused. He was really like, what is going on right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, am I really getting bamboozled right now? I mean, Sharad included his two cents, too. But he was like, I feel like he was on Mama Kita's side. Like, yo, this your mama. Like, she moving in with you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That was Sharad for you. Like, I ain't about to say too much, but it's your mama, you know. So, yeah. But at the end... Um, basically, she had both kids. Uh, she had, you know, I think Love was about to cry more, though. Um, because she talked, all right, bye, Love. Love was like, uh-uh, I want to go, too. 
And then she's like, well, you know what? I just keep both babies here. You can have them both. You know, I'll get you, you know, get you a nanny. I'm like, oh, that's like, no. And it's the fact when she's like, it's a prank, it's a prank. And it's our mom for a few seconds not let her in. I was done. I'm like, nah, you done pranked him, bro. You had a robot to go crazy and it's crazy because Naya did the same prank on him before he left that she was coming to LA with him. I'm like, dang, our money. They really, <laughs> they really playing with you right now. But yeah, y'all, it was a good, you know, it was a good video. It was all good vibes. All right, y'all, so I forgot this part, but it was a part in the prank when our mom was like, you know what, y'all can stay here, y'all go get settled in the back room, and I just go to West Hollywood. Bro was so serious. When I tell y'all my guy was on one in this prank, he was on one. Like, he was like, you know what, I'm about to just do, y'all stay, you feel me? Like, period, boo, pig, 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 period. A good time, and yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. If y'all haven't, go tune into that video. And y'all know the vibes, as always, I love y'all, and deuces.